the cold is this. I prefer cold than hot. Yes, it's better. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. He's connected. Yes, <laughs> he's connecting. Hello. Hello, teacher. How oh, are you? Good, and you hear me. Hey, good to see you again, Ricardo. How are you? Yes, thank you. I I I I had I had not uh, to uh, to um, uh, the the class because I I had many jobs. <laughs> I so, had a lot of work. I had a lot of work. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Well, that's good. You know, a lot of work is better than no work. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. All right. How? Okay, and I see Carla, I see Elena, I see Ruth. Hi. Hello, Ruth, how are you? Hi, I am fine. All right, cool. Let me see while more people join. I'm trying to open up the page. Is it is it cold in your house today? Yes, it's cold. Yes, it's very cold. It's it's still raining out there. Oh. And it's raining too. Yeah. yeah. It's raining. Yeah, in my house. Raining? Yes, it's raining. Yes. Okay. But the worst passed already. Correct. I hope. I was reading the news and it says that um, it's only going to be a tropical. Yes, it's the only one. Too bad. I, yes. Too bad for our, our people in, in Nicaragua. Yes, it's the worst. It's the worst season. In this, uh, with, uh, in, in, in two weeks, two, two uh, hurricane. Yes. And the problem is that we never know what happens in um in in Nicaragua because the government is very quiet. Yes, yes. It's similar to the pandemic before. Oh yeah, they are okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Que era bron bronchitis o bronquitis tenían o <laughs> yeah, it's, that's that's not good. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Let me see if let me open the page here. Do, 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 do. I hope, I really hope the platform works today. Wow, we only have, we have little people today. We only have few people today. Yes, I think it's a, 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 a little call, call this is a better to live early in, the, in, in this. Yes. Okay, um, I'm going to share my screen. Tell me if you could see it. Can you see the uh, the video now? Yes, teacher. All right, good. Thank you. Let's listen to. Um, this is the intro to section four. All right, let's listen to what it says. As on the other sections, we have an intro video for you. Please take notes if you feel you need to. Enjoy. Hello? Yes, Pat. I'm working on that right now. 
Uh-huh. Okay. By five o'clock. Yes, okay. Thanks. What's up, Carmen? You look really stressed out. It's his job, Hugo. I'm constantly under pressure. My muscles are tense. My neck is stiff. My stomach is in knots. I just... I, I can't seem to relax. Yeah, stress is a killer. Well, one thing you could do is get some exercise. It's a great way to relieve tension. I tried that. Did it help? That's a long story. First, I tried skating. I love skating. How'd it work out? It didn't. Well, I'll say. Then I tried dance lessons. Oh, I love dancing. Me too. And so does my husband. But... But? He was a little too... enthusiastic. Uh-huh. Well... Have you thought about taking a yoga class? They say it's very relaxing. Yoga? Relaxing? Are you kidding me? You see this paper clip? Yes. This is what I'd look like after my yoga class. Ouch. There's always hypnotherapy. I've tried that too. Now, every time I hear the word ocean, it's supposed to relax me. Oh, and it works. The other day, I was in a meeting. Someone started talking about the environmental problems and the world's oceans. People said the word ocean so many times that I fell asleep. Oh yeah, I heard about that. That must have been embarrassing. Now half the office knows. <sighs> See what I mean? Need to get the hypnotherapy reversed. Or... I have an idea. You could try aromatherapy. What's that? It's like a massage, but they rub your skin with scented oils. Um, I'm not sure about that. I'm allergic to perfume. Well, uh, it might be a good idea then for you to take some time off. Go on vacation. Rent a little house on the beach or something. You know, on the ocean. The ocean? Oh, that's a good idea. Maybe I'll take a vacation. It's very relaxing. Lying on the beach, listening to the sounds of the ocean, ocean, ocean. I wish that could happen to me. Oh, I'll go to sleep quick. All right. So let me see. So listen, by the end of this class, we will be able to describe a service performed for them by someone else using have or get. All right, let's see this. So one more time, listen. Service performed for you by someone else. So let's see how this works. Hello, ready to begin? I want to remind you that in English, we can say the same idea in another way. Does active and passive voice ring a bell? Stay and find out. Page 59. Exercise 3. Grammar Focus. Have or get something done. Use have or get to describe a service performed for you by someone else. Active. Do you know where I can have someone fix my bike? You can have Hazel's Personal Services fix your bike. You can get a repair shop to fix your bike. Passive. Do you know where I can have my bike fixed? You can have your bike fixed by Hazel's Personal Services. 
You can get your bike fixed at a repair shop. I know this is not new for you. Active and passive, remember? We have told you that in English we may say the same sentence in another way. This time we will learn how to use active and passive using have or get to describe a service performed for you by someone else. As always, let's work on active first. You can have a repair shop fix your bike. We're using have plus someone plus base form of the verb. Let's type an example using get. You can get a repair shop to fix your bike. Get plus someone plus infinitive verb. Moving on, we have passive. You can have or get your bike fixed. It's optional to write at or buy a shop. Have or get plus object plus past participles. It's optional to use at or buy. I want you to work in class. I want you to talk about two things you want to have done. Remember, you may type your answers on our discussion box. Okay, remember we were doing, um, remember we were doing um, blah, 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 active and passive, remember? Yeah. Yes. All right, so then this is gonna be just a quick practice, like, okay, look, I need to paint my car. So I can ask you, do you know where I can paint my car? That's one. Or do you know where I can have my car painted? Or do you know where I can get my car painted? And obviously it's by someone, but we can admit, because it's obvious, do you know where I can get my car painted by a painter? So we don't really need to, um, we can admit the painter part. So what I'm gonna do is um, I'm going to tell you an active and you tell me the passive. Let me see, Marvin, Josue, how are you? So good. All right. Do you know, do you know where I can, I can have my, I'm, oh, ya lo dije en paso. Do you know where I can buy, no. Do you know where I can get, no. Wait, I'm, I'm always thinking of passive. <laughs> this is some difficult instruction. Okay, do you know where I can see where I can see a dentist? Or do you know where I can see my tooth? Okay. Because it hurts. Yeah. Uh, can you find it by the, the dentist, I think? Okay, good. So I asked in a passive way, right? Do you know where I can see my tooth? What would be the yeah. passive? If the exact same question, but in a passive form. Uh, do you find, you know? Do you know? Uh, do you know? Is in question or answer? Sorry. Okay. Answer. The question. The question I asked you was in an active sense. In an active. Ah, okay. Sense. So, do you know where I can see my teeth? Ah, okay. And oh. I can uh, uh, put it in a passive, right? Yes, please. Uh, so I'm ah, going okay. to. So I'm going to repeat one more time. Do you know yes. where? Do you know where I can see my teeth in Santa okay. Elena? Uh, do, do you fix it? No, no. Do you, let me see, do you uh, wash it? No. Do you, um, do you check it in with the, by the dentist? I don't know. Mm. Or do you, yeah. Okay, because, um, listen, so it's, do you know where I can see my teeth? Or 
who can help who can help him who can help marvin we have to restructure the question or yes please or in passive in passive maybe do you know where can i get my tooth fix it okay good yeah very good so yeah do you know where my teeth can be fixed that converts it in passive so for example i think yeah. the car the car is a perfect example do you know where i can fix my car active do you know where i so i, I would be the subject do you know where i can fix my car or do you know where my car can be fixed you say you can get your car fixed at the repair shop yeah at the, at the car shop it's, it's a passive no it's a passive yes okay yeah so but remember not not Remember what I told you, the difference between active and passive is what you want to make important. And not necessarily, it always has to have an active and passive voice. Not always, yeah. When you use active, you import in the place or the, the, the action? I'm sorry? When you use active, we, we import is the most important the uh, act the action or the place um i will have somebody in the class answer that who can answer ronnie the active is who makes the action and the passive who receives it uh, okay thank you you you're welcome my friend <laughs> But, but listen to his question. I think his question is, what's more important? Like, what, who, who is the most important? Just in, in, the, in the active. It depends who want, who, uh, that depends who you want to be important, I think, the, mo the most relevant for you. Yes. Yes, good, Please. you. Okay, so Ronnie, um, the active and passive, the subject that can be the, any noun. It doesn't necessarily have to be a person. It can be any noun. Any noun, oh, okay. But what is a, what makes it an active voice is that the noun does the action. The subject, I'm sorry, the noun becomes a subject. So the, the noun does the action. And then when, when it's a passive, it's, um, it receives the action. In the passive, you use the verb in past. Past participle, passive. yes. In passive. In, act, in active, you use the, the verb base. Mm -hmm. oh. Yes, I got it. Okay. Um, let me give you another active, active and then may, and you tell me the passive. Class, okay. do you know where I can find... Do you know where I can find a 24-hour pharmacy in San Salvador? That's active, right? You can get a... Uh, uh, no, no, okay. but don't answer me. I, I'm not looking uh, for the okay. answer. I, I, I want you to uh, help me ask the same question, but in a passive form. Mm. So if I ask you, class, do you know where I can find a 24-hour pharmacy in San Salvador? Or I can say, class, do you know where a 24-hour pharmacy can be found in San Salvador? Uh-oh. You can't hear me? Yes. OK. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I, I'm, I'm seeing right now. Let me see. I am silence mood because my baby is asleep, and I am <laughs> hearing her. Do you know where I can find a cell open twenty-four hours? You, you want to go to the cinema, Alvin? What? 
I can't hear you. Say it, say it. <laughs> That's okay. Okay, Alvin, yes, your daughter is asleep. I understand that. And I know that when they wake up, oh man, if, if she wakes up, your night is over. Oh, I see. Thank you, hybrid. Hybrid. You can get a dentist to check your teeth. Good. Okay, so really that's the difference. Um, I think the perfect example is that um, do you know where I can paint my car? Do you know where my car can be painted? Yes. Do you know where I can park my car? Do you know where my car can be parked? The problem is that in this case, in Spanish, we don't really speak passive. Well, in English too, we don't really speak passive. Remember this, and this is true. 85% of the time, we always speak in an active way. Always. Okay, but do you have any questions about this? But both thing uh, mean the same. No, it's the same story. But in a different way. Yeah, come on, it's like um. You choose. Uh, we can choose the way that I want to answer. Or ask. Yes, yes, it's like, it's like, look. Maybe the passive voice use more when you are reading. You see? Yes. And you see? It's a yes. different side, but it's five dollars anyway. Yeah. Yes. So that's. Um, and I'm happy because I didn't know I had five dollars. Oh, good. <laughs> so um, yeah, it's always the same story. It's just a different um, way. Yeah. Remember the the most important thing about speaking active and passive is who you want to make important. Remember, I think I think we did that class like two weeks ago. I think. Remember, the cat is going to eat the mouse or the mouse is going to be eaten by the cat. It's the same story. I mean, the mouse is going to die in the two. Yeah. But it depends like on the situation because, you know, it depends on the drama or the, or, the, uh, or the event. You say, oh my God, que pasa? Oh my God, look, look, that mouse is gonna be eaten by that cat. You know, you're making emphasis on the mouse. Or you can say, oh my God, mira, 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 look at, look at, that cat is going to eat the mouse. You're making emphasis on the cat. You spoke past active. That's the difference. When you speak active, you're making the subject important. When you speak passive, you're making the object more important. Yes. Remember one time I, I told you, <clears throat> Cuando no, uh, mis compañeros de trabajo, hey, ¿qué pasó? No, nada, nada. What happened? No, nothing. Um, I was just invited by the president to dinner in a, in a hotel. You know, I was invited by the president of the company to a company dinner. Pero no, no sé si voy a ir. <laughs> you know. <laughs> You know, and then, or you can say, hey, ¿qué pasó? ¿Qué fue la reunión? Nothing. They, um, they invited me to a company dinner. Or, si me quiero hacer más importante yo, hago eso. Como, no, nada, tranquilo. Fui invitado a una cena de la empresa. Pero, no, ni quiero ir. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know, I, that's what I'm saying. It depends, it depends on importance, but the story is the same. All right. Yes. Alexandra, who you're chatting with? Yes. <laughs> shh, shh, stop chatting. She's not listening. <laughs> yes, 
All right. So let's see what we have here. Do, 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 do. Knowledge check. It says, write questions using active form or have and get using the information above each space. So my skirt. What do you think the um, correct way is here? Do you know where so my skirt? Where Let's do it. I can have my I can feed my sheep. Or I can get some my skirt. Yeah, usted ya hicieron esto, right? Me imagino. Yes. Yes, yeah, sure. yeah. I yeah. see on the chat that everybody advanced, so thank you very much for that. <laughs> okay, so yeah, sew my skirt. Do you know where I can sew my skirt? Is this active or passive? Active. 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 Good, because here is the subject. Do you know where I can get someone? <clears throat> Do you know where I can get someone sew my skirt? Ooh, this is bad. Do you know where I can? <laughs> Get someone. Can I? No. Do, do you know where I can get someone to sew my skirt? Or do you know where I can have someone sew my skirt? This one would be the correct. Okay. Um, number two, cut my hair. Do you know where I can get someone cut my hair, or do you know where I can have someone cut my hair? What do you think is the correct one? Mm. Yes. No, it's actually this one. Do you know where I can have someone cut my hair? Uh -huh. I guess that subject, someone cut my hair. Repair my watch. Do you know where I can get someone repair my watch? Or do you know where I can have someone repair my watch? Hey, si dijeron que esta es en esta, it's the same. Lo que cambia es hair, a watch. <laughs> do you know where I can have someone repair my watch? It would be this one. Okay, le voy a dar un ejemplo. You tell me that. Active. Um, Alex Blanco. Yes, sir. I need a pupusera by tomorrow morning. ¿Cómo puedo preguntar? Do you know where I can get someone to prepare pupusas by tomorrow? Very good, yeah. Do you know where I can get someone to make pupusas by tomorrow? Or do you know where I can have someone can, uh, um, prepare pupusas by tomorrow? Mm -hmm. All right, good. Um, let me see, let me see, let me see. Elena. Hello, Elena. Hi. I need a person to clean my house. How, how can I ask that in a passive tense? Uh, do, you, do you know? Uh, we only use the active form. Okay. Yeah. We're, right now we're only using the active form. So what would it be? I was a little confused. <laughs> but well, no, no, but you, no, no, no problem. But the two are correct because remember we're practicing active and passive. Uh, I see. Do you know where I can find a people? Uh, baby. Do you know where I can have someone 
clean my house? No. Or do you know where I can get someone to clean my house? You can have your, have your. Okay, no, listen to this. So you, I, you can say this. Do you know where I can get someone to clean my house? You can have. No, actually that would be the correct question. Do you know where I can get someone to clean my house? Hello? And the answer is, no, I don't. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't. You... That's true. Now it's very difficult to find somebody to clean your house. <laughs> they, uh, yeah. Elena, the correct way would be, do you know where I can get someone to clean my house? Yes, to repeat. Hello, Elena. Uh, hi. Hi. <laughs> this is <What>? confused. <laughs> no, no. I mean, think about it. Okay. We're using get and have, right? But in an active way, would it be do you know where I can get somebody or someone to clean my house? Do you know where I can get somebody to paint my house? Do you know where I can get somebody to babysit? my son do you know where i can get a babysitter from ukraine oh my god they're beautiful have you seen the women from ukraine oh man beautiful beautiful yeah do you know where i can get do you know where i can get some be careful with the yeah <laughs> yeah do you know where I can get someone to come to my house and uh, every other day to clean my house? Seven kids every other day. No, you no no. Yeah, what's about any un día sí un día no un día sí un día no. Oh. Alexandra, stop chatting. Niña. Okay, yeah, so that, that's how you say it. Do you know where I can get someone to? In Spanish, it's como puedo obtener ayuda. Tú sabes cómo puedo obtener. Yeah, yes. Todos hemos dicho eso. Hey, ¿saben dónde puedo arreglar mi carro? O, ¿saben dónde alguien puede arreglar mi carro? It's the same thing. Ahí está, active and passive. Teacher. Yes. I'm sorry, I'm getting Android sounds. I can't hear you. Who, who's talking? Me neither. Ronnie? Ronnie's talking. Okay, Ronnie, I think I think I think you have a bad connection in this moment. Okay. I stopped watching Netflix. Can you hear me? Yeah. <laughs> now Turn off Netflix. It is it's raining hard All right. in my house. It's raining, man. Hallelujah. It's raining. Man. Remember that song? But, but you heard me, my question? No. No, I didn't. Can you repeat, please? Right, okay. For example, if I say, can you know who Do you can know? clean my house? Do you know who, who can, can clean my house? Clean my house? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's, yes. not, it's not this topic, I guess. No, no, it's correct. Do you know who can clean my house? It's, it's the same you, to say. We don't it's use to get and how. No, because here you're being direct. Do you know who, who is el, 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 the person? Do you know who can clean my house? Because you, you're oh. going directly for a person. Usamos, do you know where I can get somebody to clean my house? I'm asking about a place. Okay. When you are a place, okay. Mm -hmm. 
if you are looking for a suggestion or a person recommendation, you can use who. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, for example, do you know who paints cars? I'm asking directly for the person, but if I ask you, do you know where I can get somebody to paint a car? If you listen, I'm not asking for a person. I'm actually asking for a place where I can go look. But he, oh, in the, okay. uh, he Thank in you, the El Salvador is more common when you ask for someone enough for place. Yes, it's true. Yes. It's true. Through that. <laughs> yes. Okay, so let's see. Do you know where I can get someone repair my watch? Do you know where I can get someone? Where I can have someone repair my watch? Do you know where I can get someone fix my scooter? Do you know where I can have someone fix my scooter? Okay, let's do this. Massage my neck. I'm not going to put the answer, you tell me. Ingrid. Okay. Massage <laughs> my neck. And do you know where I can get someone Massage my... To massage. To, to massage. massage. To massage my neck. Okay, very good. Well, you're a woman and I imagine every man in your office can do that for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. Like, oh. yeah. But men, no. Hey, who can help massage? No. But you know, that... that uh, well, Ingrid, you work in um, human resources. Yes. That is, that is considered uh, harassment, no? Mm, I don't understand the word. Harassment. Mm. It's like abuse? Yeah. Sexual okay. harassment? Mm. It's not, I think that it's, an, it's not a good idea ask for that kind of situation because uh, depends depends between 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 women i don't think so but but is i think that is not no not a good idea to do no no in, i know oh, definitely job. definitely it's not a good idea to touch somebody especially the other sex but you know but you know how some people are very picky now <laughs> yeah but it is a kind because if you are don't asking and and a man arrives to your shoulder that is not cool no it's not yeah no no i had a, a co-worker in my job he got in trouble for that because he he would always give massages to women pretending to be like a good co-worker but i said don't do that man. you'll get in trouble someday no mm -hmm. oh, man no man. he got in trouble yeah <laughs> yeah all right, so, so you, there are kind, there's a um a kind of man that likes to touch too much. I'm not a kinesthetic. I, I'm not a kinesthetic person, so I don't like um uh, this kind of. It's true. It's true, and you shouldn't really touch other people. <laughs> I don't like it too. <laughs> yeah. You know, um, one thing talking about massage today. I went to Multiplaza and I went to TV offer. Oh my God, they had this electric shocks that you, you put on like on your back. You know, you, I think they have eight pads. So, you know, you, know, you want to try them? Well, yeah, okay, cool. And I put two pads on my back and then, oh my God, it felt so good. It felt so good. Um, I was this close to buying it, but my wife was there and I saw her face like, I like the massage, but with a professional. <laughs> no, but you know, that was really good because they had five levels. Ah, that's nice. And yeah, and you, you you felt like somebody hitting you. Boom, 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 boom. You know, like, ah. Oh. <laughs> I, I can still feel it. And it was like f four hours ago, but it was really nice. I recommend That sounds it. good. <laughs> yeah, and it was like $69. No, that's, that is no, not, it, not, that is not no it's not expensive it's not and to be honest with you i was watching it right now in a tv offer in salvador in the webpage because she told me the lady there she told me look it's in it's it's the um black the it's the uh 
Black Friday offer because it was it's a hundred and fifty dollars, I think. But you know, it's publicity. But go and try it. It's really, really good. Yeah, I want to put it here in my head. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, do you know where I can have someone massage my neck, or do you know where I can get someone to massage my neck? Good. Oh no. Yeah, massage my neck. Yes. Clean my leather jacket. Do you know where I can get someone clean my leather jacket, or do you know where I can have someone clean my leather jacket? Of course, it's this one, right? Or, porque es bien claro, porque alguien, la persona en silla no limpia la, la chaqueta. You can say, do you know where I can have my leather jacket clean? Because you have to go to like um, martinizing. ¿Cómo se llama eso? Right. No, a la, donde lavan. Martinizing, I think. Yeah, martinizing, uh-huh. They dry clean it. Yeah, I think they charge like $8 for a leather jacket. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, listen, in this class, you will learn three word phrasal verbs in order to increase your vocabulary and to help you talk about services and dating. Ooh. What are phrasal verbs? Do you remember? Do you remember? Phrasal verbs. I figured out. What, what is phrasal, phrasal verbs? Verb? Yeah, can you give me an example of one? Um, Go ahead. Turn Go off. Ahead. Turn off. Call off. Face off. Put Put off. off. Turn off. Figure out. Kick back. All right, let's listen to some phrasal verbs here. Hi, as you know and recall, we use phrasal verbs a lot in English. This time we'll show you a list of three words phrasal verbs that you may use when talking about services and dating. Work with me and stay and find out what we want you to do. Listen to the following list of three phrasal verbs. Then I will use them in a sentence so you have a better idea of what they mean. Take some time to make sense of them. Essay at the end and see if you got the meaning right. Broken up with, came up with, looking forward to, cut down on, keep up with, put up with, get along with, take care of. Jennifer has broken up with her boyfriend again. Kevin came up with a great idea for our class reunion. I'm not looking forward to typing my essay. Maybe I'll get it done professionally. My doctor says I'm overweight. I should cut down on fatty foods. Rob can keep up with his students in his Mandarin class. He should get a tutor. I can't put up with the noise on my street. I'll have to move. My girlfriend doesn't get along with her roommate. They're always fighting. Bill can take care of his own finances. He has an accountant manage his money. Be excited for something to happen. End a romantic relationship. Keep pace with someone or something. Tolerate something you don't like. Reduce the quantity of something. Have a good relationship with someone. Be responsible for something. Think of something. Develop an idea. Can you choose three phrasal verbs from the list and come along with? Take care of. Uh. All right, let's practice here. Look, broken up with. So actually, the, the, it's a break up with. Okay, do you know what break up with is? When you finish a relationship. 
Yes, you finish a relationship. When you finish a relationship, it's you're breaking up with. He roto con. Yeah. Or like cortar con. Well, in Spanish we say cortar, right? Yes. Yeah. Who's going to break up with somebody this weekend? Nobody? Nobody? <laughs> no. Someone, someone wants to open his heart or her heart. <laughs> yeah. With the, with the audience. Who needs advice on breaking up? Yes. Now it's cool because you can do it on email. Just a simple voicemail. In my time, it was more difficult because you had to do it like face to face. Now you can just leave a voicemail. Hey, um, I'm sorry. It's not working out. Bye bye. Have a good life. And block. It's not you. It's me. Yeah, it's not you. It's me. <laughs> my feelings about you are changed. <laughs> yes. you're, you're too good for me. <laughs> okay, come Another up person with... appears in my life. No, you don't say that yet. They find out later. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, come up with. What is come up with? Thinking an idea. Good. So let's go back to breakup. To break up with somebody, you have to come up with a good excuse. Or you have to come up with what you're going to say. Right? Yes, so come up with is to think or to have an idea. All right? Looking forward to. Looking forward to. What is that? It's like uh, when you search some, something. Yeah, when you anticipate something. No, like, you know, like when you're a little child, when you're a child, you look forward to Christmas because Santa Claus is going to bring you the toy you want. So you can't wait. You're looking forward to that. Uh, Ingrid, when is your birthday? In two weeks, November okay. 26. So I imagine you're looking forward to that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you know, like, oh, I'm ready, I'm ready. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's looking forward to. Yes? Okay. So it's something, it's, you're waiting, but happily. It's something you want mm -hmm. to happen now, or like, right now. Yes, like Cardinal. Oh, yeah, I'm looking forward to, to the Christmas bonus. Y también una forma de despedirse de alguien, like, okay. Thank you. Uh, like, um, Ingrid, uh, you, you could use this a lot in, um, in an interview. Cuando le dan la palmada en el pecho. Okay, thank you. We'll call you. <laughs> and, and you say, okay, thank you. I look forward to that. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Translation. Okay, thank you. Next. Yeah, thank you. Never call me, you son of a. You know, but you no. Have to be, no, 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 that's what people say when they say, hey, thank you, we'll call you. Like, oh, okay. But you know, that's a good way to finish. Like, okay, thank you. I look forward to your call. Mm -hmm. In fact, on an email, hi, um, you know, I look forward to your reply. It's, 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 some, it's very formal too. Okay. Cut down on. Stop doing, maybe. Yes. Or reduce something. Reduce something that is affecting you. Can, who can give me an example? Um, what do you need to cut down on? In my case, the coca things. I'm sorry? Yeah. I need to cut down on Coca-Cola. Any okay. soda? Okay. I need to cut down on, on my coffee, man. I'm Any drinking, fast food? <laughs> I'm, drink, yeah, I'm drinking maybe two liters of coffee a day. 
Yeah. So, you know, you share, it's yes? correct to see the to say cut down on smoking. Of course, yes. I need to cut down on smoking, on drinking, anything that is affecting you. He's on it. Hmm? And, and in the case of a voluntary thing, in yeah. part, I'm going to cut down on. So remember, cut down on is reduce something. You're going to do it because voluntary, because you have to, or because the doctor told you or you're going to die. Uh -huh. Or if you want to. Or if you want to, of course. Can you tell me something you want to cut down on? Yeah, I mean the, well, meat, chicken. I need to cut down on groceries, especially uh, bread. Yes, it's true. I need to cut down on shopping online. I buy too many stupid things. No, not stupid things, unnecessary things. <laughs> <laughs> I need to Peter, cut down is work is in the house. Is a, yeah. The excuse. It's not necessary. You think it's necessary. Yes, you come up with an with an excuse that yes, I need it, I need it. But then you really don't. Yeah. Okay, you know what? I bought a paint gun. A paint gun. I have had it for one year. I've never used it. I said, I want a paint gun because I want to paint my garage. Ahí está nueva en caja. But someday I will use it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, and next we have keep up with. What is keep up with? Let me give you an example of keep up with. Do you know those people that run every morning? The people yes. that run, they do exercise every morning? Yes. They can run maybe one hour nonstop. Yes. And then you run five minutes and you're dying. Like. Y siempre regresa. ¿Qué te pasó? You know, I can't keep up with you, man. That the is keep up. Sustain, mm -hmm. The people who sustain an activity every day never give up. Yeah, but, uh, but okay, imagine, <laughs> which I am not, but imagine I run every day. And you ask me, hey, what do you do tomorrow? What are you going to do tomorrow? Oh, I, tomorrow I have to go run. Oh, you run really good. Can I go with you? Um, I don't know. Can you keep up with me? So what I'm saying is, are you in my level? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah that, that's what pretty much uh, keep up with us. <clears throat> okay, vamos a más Salvadorian. Drinking. <laughs> All right, let's drink. <laughs> Can you? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, yeah. Are you a drink a dry drink? <laughs> yeah. Hey, we're going to drink, but you, you need to keep up with me. What do you mean keep up with me? Every time I drink a beer, you drink one too. Okay, good. So, en todo empiezo, one, two, three, four, twenty. Y, y tú te quedas en la octava. So, the next day, I said, you did not keep up with me. Entonces, es to be in your level. Okay. okay. So do you do you understand what keep up with? Yes. 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 All right. And when you do something good, like if you're doing perfect in school, your teacher will tell you, "Hey, keep up the good work." Keep up is like, "Okay, continue. Continue the good job." Okay, so for example, I have a friend, um, 
he is a heavy drinker, like a heavy, heavy drinker. I can't keep up with him. He 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 drinks a lot. One time we went to to this bar and we asked for a balde. I had drunk he, three beers only, and he in in the when I had three beers, he already had drunk ten. He's a professional. Yes, he's from <laughs> Holland. He's from Holland, so he, he drinks every day. And I said, "Man, you're no fun, man. I can't keep up with you. I want to enjoy." He, he have but, a problem. <laughs> oh yeah. Pero sabe que él es prueba viviente that liquor and cigarettes don't kill you. <laughs> I promise you. I known him for 25 years. He smokes two packs of cigarettes a day and drinks every day and he doesn't die. Oh, no, I, I tell him, how, man. How old is, is him? Is he? Is he? He's like 50 now. But really it's... Okay, 10, 10 years more. <laughs> yeah, he was a really, we were really, really good friends, but then I got married and, you know, I, I changed my life completely and he continued his crazy life. So now I see him maybe two or three times a year and nothing changes. <laughs> he... <laughs> he's still he's still the same I'm like, okay him and the Rolling Stones are living proof that liquor and cigarettes don't kill you <laughs> all right so that, that's keep up with put up with do you know what put up with is no Put up with. Meaning, in pocas palabras, put up with is soportar. So, people, who who is not married? Who is not married? Carla's not married. Ingrid is not married. That I know. I don't know if you're saying yeah, it. So, listen, if you can't put up with your partner in this moment... Don't get married. Yeah, it's, it's the best recommendation I can give you. Because if you can't put up with them now, it's going to be more difficult if you get married. <laughs> yeah. Please don't do it. <laughs> yeah, don't. No, it's true. My mother always told me that. You know? So when, when I was with my wife, when she was my girlfriend, I said, yeah, I can put up with her. It's no problem. It's not, she's not very difficult. No, she, también yo. <laughs> but, you know, she's not very difficult, so, yeah. So, you, you know, like, sometimes when, when you have a partner or your spouse or your boyfriend, girlfriend, and they are toxic? Yeah, if you can't put up with them, don't continue. Don't, don't kill yourself. Me, sometimes I can't put up with my son. Sometimes I frequently can't put up with my son. I don't know what to do sometimes. He's, he's too terrible. You know, I hit him. Yeah, yeah I mean, spank him. I, I done everything and he doesn't change. So I'm, I, I said, oh my God, I can't put up with him. <laughs> but he's funny. Okay. Can you give me an example of put up with? You can't put up I, sometimes. I, I, I'm sorry? Bad habits of boyfriend. I'm sorry? Bad habits of, of boyfriend. Eris, I'm sorry. Boyfriend what? Bad habits. Oh, bad habits. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, your boyfriend's bad habits. Yes. But remember, always put up with is for people, with people only. I can say I can put out with the university. Yeah, yeah, okay, good. No, no, you actually say it only for people. Oh. 
Okay. If you're a boss, you can say that too. Like, man, I can't put up with you anymore. You, you're fired. And for no. say that, but with things? No, that's what I'm saying. It's only with people. Okay. I yeah. can't put up with, with uh, my mother-in-law. Yeah, you, you know, yeah, you tell, you know, you tell your wife like, hey, baby, I'm sorry, I can't put up with your mother anymore. It's, it's impossible. Why? She, she's crazy, man. She's toxic. <laughs> no, you know. Things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you know that that that's that's usually when when it comes. Cuando alguien di, dice, you know what? I can't put up with you. Lo que sigue después de eso es aún peor. <laughs> you know what? I can't put up with you. Forget it. Let, let's finish this. Con su jefe, que cuando uno es jefe y tiene un empleado muy mal portado, o sea, ya demasiado, like, si no es esto, es aquello, you know, you know what, I can't put up with you. Uh, I'm sorry, you, you're fired. Apply with the bosses too. I, oh, have, yeah, that, you, I have that experience. Yeah, and one, I had yeah, to quit. I decided to quit. Okay, yeah. Yes, because right now you can't just say, you know what, you're fired. <laughs> You, yeah. You, you you have to think. Wait, I have to. It was a very toxic person. So it, and and it was a it was a woman and likes to yell him too much in a professional spaces. For me, that is not it's not well, correct because you don't need not. to yell people. Yes. So you don't need to put up with that. You don't need to put up with people like that. No. And I okay. decided to quit. Okay. Yeah. That's better. that's. That's the best thing. Yeah. Okay. It next. was free. Like yeah. Elsa. <laughs> yeah. And you know what? And, and those people, they get their karma. Yeah. Um, your boss, she will get her karma. Next we have get along with. Let me give you an example. I those. get along with my brother. Yeah, does Bokele get along with Chafik? <laughs> 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 or do, well, does Bokele get along with anyone? You know, that's no. get along. Yeah, poor guy, man. He has everybody attacking him. <laughs> yeah, that's get along. Okay. Because sometimes, like in other governments, yeah, they might not get along politically but professionally they do in the United States for example ex except with now with Donald Trump but you know but like in El Salvador they don't get along politically personally and everything mm -hmm. yeah get along do Barca fans get along with um, Real Madrid fans no yeah, in the bars. Yeah, in the bars, they don't get along. of <laughs> course. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, do you get along with your boss? Yeah. Yes. I get along with my boss. My boss is very I get cool. along with my boss when we have a, an agreeing opinions. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. You know what? I am very, I am a very lucky man because I get along with my in-laws. My, my father-in-law and my mother-in-law. I love them. They are, they are the best. So I, in that I am very lucky because I have friends that they hate their in-laws. They, they don't like them. Like, Oh, I can't get along with, I can't put up with my suegro and my suegra. And I'm saying, oh man, that's, I, I am very happy that I don't have that problem because I get along with them. They are very, very nice to me and I love them very much. I think, I think they love me more than, than my wife. <laughs> <laughs> that's nice. Yeah. Yes. You avoid so many problems. It's true. It's true. I've seen, I've seen my friends like, 
uh, I don't know how they put up with, with that toxic relations, you know, it's, it's ugly. Okay, and take care of. Taking care of business. Take care of is. Yo, yo, encargarse de algo. Yes. You know, uh, it can be something very bad too. Like imagine the carteles, hey, take care of the police. Mm -hmm. That's all. So that's not kill. No. Or you can say, "Can you take care of my son? Can you take care of that problem, please?" Like in your job, you know, like you have, you have a lot of, you, you know, a lot of stress. You're very busy, and somebody calls you, and your assistant they say, "David, it, it, it's the people from, from uh, the cafeteria." And, goes, yeah. and you say, "You know what? I'm busy. Can you take care of that, please?" Como te encargas de eso? It says take care of. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or I can say, hey, man, how are you? What are you doing? I'm taking care okay. of business. Hey, I, I, I name my, my business, my manager, take care of. I'm sorry, you name your manager what? No, I, the, I will name of my manager take care of because it's the, the favorite phrase for him. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah managers always take advantage of that. Can you take care of that? Can you take care of that? Can you take care of that? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, it's true. Mm -hmm. You know or, or, or like um I say, hey what are you doing man? Nothing. I'm taking care of business. Yes, yeah, so I'm solving a problem or, or something. Okay. All right, class. I'll see okay. you tomorrow, okay? Have okay, a happy Thursday. Don't catch a cold. Bye-bye. Yeah. Good mm -hmm. night. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank you. you. Jorge Mendoza, have you been in class all this time? I haven't seen you. Or you just joined? No. Uh, I connected with the uh, three classes start. Really? I didn't yeah. see you. I don't see you and Alexandra. Because she, well, yeah, she was chatting okay. all day. Yeah. <laughs> okay, bye bye. Okay, bye bye. 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 bye.